Coming up on this episode of the IoT Inc. Business Show. Security and privacy are uttered together so often that many believe they're the same thing. They're not. Security is a technical issue and privacy is a business issue. And furthermore, privacy is only one type of liability that should be considered when talking IoT security. In this episode of the IoT Business Show, I add a bit of sharpness to the security and privacy narrative. All this and more on this episode of the IoT Inc. Business Show. The people, the business, and the technology of the next generation internet. This is the IoT Inc. Business Show. And now, here's your host, Bruce Sinclair. Hello and welcome to the IoT Inc. Business Show. This show is made possible by sales of my book, IoT Inc., published by McGraw-Hill, and the IoT Inc. Certified IoT Professional, or ICIP, online training and certification program. Become a certified IoT professional by completing the program's three courses, ICIP Technology, ICIP Business, and ICIP Strategy and Digital Transformation. Details of which can be found at www.iot-inc.com. That's www.iot-inc.com. If you've been listening to this podcast, then you might have heard me mention that I have my book coming out in June. The title of the book is IoT Inc. And the subtitle of the book is How Your Business Can Use the Internet of Things to Win in the Outcome Economy. The subtitle is a bit of a mouthful, I know, and it makes it kind of challenging to fit on a book cover, but we have done that. Even at a thumbnail size, you can read at least the keywords, and it does have that all-important SEO words in there for search engines. I've decided that I'm going to do a number of short podcasts, these solo podcasts. I've done them before, but in this case, I'm going to focus them on different parts of the book that I think are important and are related to the shows that are going on. So it'll be like this one today. This will give you a good chance to judge whether or not you're going to like the book. I think if you do like this show, then you kind of know my thinking and you know my approach. But these topics, I think, will get into a little bit more detail and give you a little bit more, I guess, fodder to work with when you're making a decision whether or not you want to buy my book. Now, buy my book is a great way to give back. I think the actual deal works out to maybe 15% of the net, or yeah, something like 15% of the net. So it's not like it's a big money maker. But for me, what's really important is to get the ideas out there. And of course, it leads to different things. I'll be also providing an online course, which is where I can uh, make some income. So as you know, I've been asking for donations. That's been a bit of a disaster for this podcast, although I have received a couple. I'll talk about them later. A couple new ones. Three in total, everybody. Um, But like I said, this is a good way to give back. If you have been enjoying the show, if you have thought that the show has been giving you value, then it'd be great if you'd pick up the book. I found out a while ago that the book is going to be $28. Now, these books are always discounted, but that's going to be the base uh, price for the book. And just today, I talked to my, I guess, project manager. In the old days, it would be called a typesetter, but it's the person laying out the book. And they also have budgets, you know, targets for these. But it turns out with the amount of words and the number of diagrams that the book's going to be 300 pages. So it's actually going to be slightly thicker than a lot of the books that are on my bookshelf. Makes it a pretty good deal. That's less than 10 cents each. So more about the book later, but today we want to talk about security and privacy. The last podcast, the Working in the Gray Zone podcast, that was more of a legal podcast. And the next episode is actually going to be an interesting one. It's going to be with the FCC. So it's going to be kind of legal as well. So I thought it'd be informative to put what we've been discussing and what we're going to be discussing in the context. Now, first, security and privacy. A lot of times people conflate the two. They, they consider them being the same thing. And maybe it's just because you hear a disproportionate amount about, about privacy, specifically because it's more of a B2C 
a consumer issue. So we hear a lot about it, but I want to first separate the two terms. Security is very much a technical term, and privacy is a business term. Now, it's a business term, or it's in the business realm, I should say, because it has to do with risk. So it's an issue of risk. Security is a technical issue because it has to do with this front, this first line of defenses. However, a better way to think about this, better than security and privacy, which is you know, generally what you'll read in conferences and you'll read in articles, but a better way to think about this, technical versus business, is security versus risk management. In fact, this is a chapter in one of my books. I think that might be the actual name of the chapter. So let's go through both of them. So security, uh, my opinion with security, and, and again, if you've been listening to this show for a while, you know it really drives me nuts, all the doomsayers. And I know it's just a way to sell links because people will be more likely to click on something that's negative than positive. But we've been doing IT security for, gosh, how many years? 50 years? And the world hasn't fallen down, and I have the same opinion on IoT security. We're not going to get it right. In fact, we're never going to get it right because security and IT and IoT are the same thing. You're always, you're always just trying to be one step ahead of the, of the bad guys, the black hats. But in any case, security and IoT... Like in IT, you can think about it in three different ways. The first way is confidentiality. And that is making sure that the data that you have is confidential. So protecting it so people can't read it. The second thing that's important is integrity. So making sure that the data that you have hasn't been changed. And the third way, and the third component of security that I find useful is accessibility, and that is making sure that you can access that data. Now, risk, the counterpart to security, the business counterpart to security, has a cor it corresponds to each one of these, and I'll go through them in a minute. But risk really comes down to a simple equation. Risk is equal to the probability of that breach happening times its liability. And generally what you do is you, you normalize these from zero to one. And this is part of a risk assessment. Again, you can read about it uh, in more detail in the book. But when you do a risk assessment, you're looking at all the attack vectors, or I like to call them attack volumes, a little bit more encompassing specifically for IoT. And you're doing this, you're doing this exercise. What's the probability, which is more of a technical, a technical decision? So this has to be both technical folks and business folks in the room at the same time working on this risk assessment. So risk, again, is a probability times a liability. The probability is what's the likelihood that this, that this breach is going to happen, whether it's a breach in confidentiality, a breach in integrity, or a breach in accessibility, times the liability. Now, the liability can be in a number of different ways. So let's go through the liabilities for the three different types of securities. For confidentiality, this is where we get into privacy. So the liability for a breach that reveals confidential information, sometimes it's called PII or personally identifiable information, is the liability. So again, when we hear uh, security and privacy, really privacy is just one type of risk, and it is the risk that's associated with confidentiality. So this is the concept of being able to tap into either data in motion, which is more of an IoT um, phenomena, more or less, and also data at rest, but getting at it and being able to read it or decipher it into some form, and where privacy comes in is that data could be personal information, and you could use that data, or the bad guys could use that data to do other things with it to do nefarious <laughs> negative things with that, with that information. So confidentiality or the, the risk associated with confidentiality is privacy. Now let's look at integrity. So integrity, the risk there 
is going to be, well, maybe it's going to be the risk of what some people talk about when they're referring to autonomous vehicles. And this is, if you were to insert some commands, let's say, in a machine. Now, this is where IT and IoT obviously is different. Where in IoT, we're in the physical world. It's not just a matter of being in the, in the cyber world or in the virtual world. And the physical manifestations can be something that can hurt humans. So if you can insert commands um, in an autonomous vehicle, drive it off the road, um, in some commercial machinery or some industrial machinery or some commercial equipment, there could be some issues. So integrity issues, um, this is a different type of security. So going, we're always kind of going back and forth on the technical and the liability. So on the technical side, with confidentiality, this is generally the old school methodology of putting a perimeter around, whether it's a firewall, or maybe it's going to be some sort of an encryption, but it's going to be more the, I, the IT type of security. And we're trying to prevent people from coming in. With integrity, we're doing the same thing, but we have different tools. Now, these tools we've been seeing AI and analytics being used a little bit more, where you analyze the information that's on the OT network, the operational technology network, or the IT network, the information technology network, and just making sure that things seem right. Now, there's different ways of doing this. You can do anomaly detection. There are some companies that actually refer to state diagrams. But again, for integrity, from a technical point of view, you're making sure the information on in the network, whether it's the OT or IT in the fog, is correct. But the risk isn't privacy, right? What the risk is, is going to be other types of liability. So it might be a liability in, in getting someone hurt. So the liability is going to be some sort of a judgment if you go to court and a judgment that can come down against you if uh, your product wasn't properly secured. The third one is accessibility. So again, on the technical side, it's accessibility. Now, what this means, unlike the confidentiality and unlike the integrity, the accessibility just means that you can access the service. In this case, it's an IoT product. It could be a banking service in the IT world, but you can access it. Now, in the IT world, what prevents this accessibility is over flowing the interface, uh, the communication interface, with what they call distributed denial of service attacks or denial of service attacks. Now these are kind of scary because to be able to perpetrate a denial of service attack uh, doesn't cost very much money. Now it's not like it's openly available, but if you do go in the dark web or not even have to go that far into the dark web, you can find these services and it's really DDoS as a service and what they do is they have a <laughs> I like the name but you know a zombie a zombie pack of computing devices they can be servers all the way down to IOT devices and they will focus those devices by sending requests on the interface of the service and flooding it so that no one else can access it so in the case of IT, what this means is you can't access, let's say, a particular website or a particular service. I mentioned banking earlier. But in the case of IoT, it's a little bit different because it could be that you can't access a machine that you want to act that you need to use. Now, what's the liability associated with that? So that's the technical. So again, we're always we're always looking at uh, security versus risk. The risk there is that if this machine has been purchased and it has a, uh, let's say, an SLA, a service level agreement associated with it, which they will, then if you can't access your machine, then perhaps there's some risk to the manufacturer from the consumer or from, I should say, the, the purchaser that they weren't able to, to access their machine. Their machine, uh, this act costs so much dollars, so many dollars per hour, per day, per month, whatever the case may be, 
and potentially there's a liability associated with that. And just a bit of a clarification on DDoS attacks in IoT. We don't want to get mixed up because what I'm talking about here is using zombies to an attack the, an interface to an IoT product. What we've heard about lately, a long time ago, was the fridges and most recently cameras. That's using IoT devices as those zombies and using them to attack, uh, in this case, in these cases, not IoT devices, but IT services. So <laughs> IoT can be attacked by zombies in DDoS attacks, but they can also, since they are computing devices, and lots and lots of them, because it's not that complicated to do a request for service. And that's why these very small devices are very effective, or that's why these small IoT devices are very effective to be the zombies. But of course, in both cases, security is involved. We want to have security to prevent our IoT devices from the confidentiality, integrity, accessibility, and maybe the fourth one, the zombie type of security attack. So when you listen to the next episode, I just want you just again, just to go through the in your mind the differences and when you read different websites and when you and when you read different stories and so forth, that again, security and privacy are two different things. But a better way to think about it is security and risk. And in security, we've got the three different types of, of security, generally speaking, confidentiality, integrity, and accessibility. And associated with each one of those is a risk. And where privacy comes in, that's the risk, or one of the risks, I should say, or one of the, one of the liabilities, I should say, associated with people accessing personally identifiable information. Now, I find myself doing this, so I just want to clarify. I often use risk and liability interchangeably, and that's not correct. Risk is the probability of the technical breach happening times the liability. So, yes, there's a risk associated with confidentiality, and there's also a liability associated with, uh, with confidentiality. But really, the risk is that liability times the probability of it happening. So that's it for this show. I think it's just the main point here is that both security and risk management go hand in hand. Technical and business go hand in hand. So whenever you're talking about security, you have to be talking about risk management. And whenever you're talking about risk management, you have to also be talking about security. Okay. Well, I hope you found that useful. This podcast goes vertical, deep diving into different topics each week. If you prefer a more horizontal and structured approach to learning IoT business and its orbiting technologies, check out my book, IoT Inc., published by McGraw-Hill, or become a certified IoT professional by completing the ICIP training and certification program. For details, just go to www iot-inc.com Also go to www.iot-inc.com for an analysis of this episode, links to things that were mentioned during the episode, and very importantly, the episode's PDF transcript. Just search for the name of the episode or the guest. If you're new to this podcast, subscribe. That way you'll get every week's episode delivered straight to your device. Or, if you've been listening for a while, there are three ways you can support the show. You can leave a rating or a review on iTunes. Just go to iot-inc.com slash iTunes. It only takes one click to leave a rating, a little bit longer to leave a review. You can share it on social. I'm on LinkedIn, to a lesser extent, on Twitter. And of course, you can support the show by buying my book, IoT Inc., or the ICIP Training and Certification Program. That's how I pay the bills. Next week's episode is the FTC and IoT, Defending Against Zealous Tech, with Jared Ho of the Federal Trade Commission. I hope you can join me then. I'm your host, Bruce Sinclair. Thank you for listening. Till next week, may your path to IoT business be a safe one. You have been listening to the IoT Inc. Business Show. 